fire season last year was unprecedented. Everybody knows there was smoke everywhere in the state of Oregon. I learned that you really can't predict a fire season. I think at the end of the year you can say how it was, but in this area, really a lot of it depends on lightning strikes and whether or not we have lightning that tracks through an area. And so we'll see how the summer goes. With these really, really tall old growth trees here, like in the wilderness, a lot of times an air tanker will drop and it, it all gets kind of absorbed by the canopy and doesn't get to the ground and doesn't do much good. So an air tanker is a great tool in the right place. You know, if you've got a house uh, and, and a flame front coming and you want to be able to put down some, some uh, retardant, that's a great use for something like that. Uh, in the middle of the mountains like this, it's not as effective. So, um, you know, buckets, crews on the ground, helicopters, those kind of things are really helpful. We had one of the first fires around, I think, so we had crews for a while, but then as Chetco Bar or the Eagle Fire or other fires in the state became um, really more of a priority because of private houses or things like that, um, we did lose some crews and that caused some issues, you know, some problems. We had to decide, um, you know, rather than going as direct as we might have gone, we had to decide what, what areas are we going to focus on and, you know, how do we use the resources we have. And so that's just kind of a natural occurrence in a really heavy fire year is that managers have to kind of switch from being um, as hands-on as they'd like to be to, okay, we don't have quite the resources. How can we safely control this fire where we really need to control it to keep it where we need to keep it so people are safe, resources are protected, and the crews are safe also.